Well, I now have about uh, 2.6 miles or something like this, pretty much all the way up uh, to uh, Falls of Glomach, uh, which will be my first proper stop. It's uh, meant to be uh, one of the uh, uh, highest waterfalls in Britain, so it should be amazing. But it also means that I'm going to now have those 2.5 miles pretty much straight up and very steep uh, by the very end of it. So uh, let's see how it goes. The way to uh, Falls of Glomach is definitely, I think, the steepest yet. Very hard going, uh, but I'm getting there. I have one and a half mile left to get there. Then I have a proper stop, but have a look at these amazing views. It's definitely, definitely worth it. Total solitude. And what space. Incredible. Amazing. Incredible power. where I'm sleeping tonight a little under three hours but it's uh, it's taking its time it's a difficult day uh, lots of climbing 3,000 feet overall uh, but I'm very very close uh, now just have a look uh, this is where I came from uh, and uh, just to give you a view a look uh, at these amazing mountains Ah, there's my bothy. start going from uh, right from the beginning. I'm just uh, half a mile from my Bothy. You can still see it there uh, but the ground is very very boggy and it's also quite a steep climb although it might not look like it. Uh, but I better press on. Gorgeous, 
Loch Calavi. Absolute silence. Beautiful. Well, time for lunch. Um, it's going to be um, two and a half miles uh, up from here and then all the way down. Uh, but uh, I stopped here because uh, just to uh, get some energy uh, before, uh, before the hike up. This is a really nice place to have my lunch. completely off-grid, no path kind of uh, uh, stretch, so it's a bit difficult, uh, but uh, the views certainly, uh, again, make up for it. Just incredible space, and uh, I'm completely on my own, completely on my own. What a solitude. I said it before, but uh, some of these views, the feeling one gets, uh, they cannot be expressed in uh, in words. It's like uh, it's like inhabiting a completely different world. After two months of scrambling, it's nice to have a, an actual path again. <laughs> What a magnificent view! It's about seven o'clock. I uh, I just left after uh, after camping overnight. It's an absolutely glorious day, as you can see. Beautiful, clear skies. It's going to be very hot today as well. Well, this is a really, really tough, tough walk. Uh, really steep uh must have been a lot of 25 uh, degrees inclination but uh, the views are just incredible and i'm not even at the top yet right so i just went past uh, Kulin pass and now i'm following down uh you can see my view 
right now. I believe uh, these mountains over there, uh, kind of there, uh, uh, Bay in Egg. It is rather, rather gorgeous uh, here. cooling and the Bain massive unbelievable view incredible and breathtaking like every place here is like out of a postcard The glen I just passed uh, was uh, uh, Glen na Muicha. And now I'm going towards uh, Bealach nan Kruas. And uh, on the way, uh, probably in just a couple of minutes, I should be able to see Lohan Fada. Listen to the silence. This is simply spectacular. Quite a climb to be like a water view. Approaching Loch and Need. What a beautiful view. It's 
It's just unbelievable. With every mile, these views are uh, just get better and better and better. This is so breathtaking, poetic, and artistic. First climb of the day. I just started out. You can see uh, the Bothy down there, and uh, the vistas are incredible. It's a gorgeous sunrise. Well, up I go. I'm just leaving Dundonnell House. Uh, I had a quick stop to, uh, to have some food. Uh, I was also almost eaten by the midges uh, uh, while doing that. <laughs> so uh, I, I kind of am leaving in a hurry. Quite some climb. Extraordinary view of uh, these uh, huge mountains on one side, and then here, this green, pleasant 
land. Amazing. This is uh, Loch Antiompain and uh, I'm finishing today two miles from here so that would be uh, down over that uh, ridge behind uh, the loch.